What's up guys, this is Black Scout Survival. And today I wanna to talk about tactical lighting. A lot of people, you know, that aren't military, or have, that haven't deployed and, and been trained in military tactics, they hear tactical lighting and, and they think of the super bright, you know, lights like Surefire 300 some odd lumens or whatnot, you know, lights that will just blind folks. Well, that is truly, I mean, it is tactical lighting, but for different applications than what I'm talking about. I'm talking more about, you know, ap actually operational. We in the military don't use, you know, 300 some odd lumen flashlights when you're out there, you know, in, on a uh, patrol or whatnot, because that'll give away your position. You shine 300 lumens light, especially if someone has MVGs, they'll see you off in the distance very, very easily. So we're going to talk about filtered lenses real quick, because in a, an escape in evasion situation or a, uh, you know, bug out situation, where you may be wanting to survive and attack that this is going to be something critical for you to know. But I got a few different flashlights right here. And you know, this one is the original tactical flashlight. This is uh, the uh, old MX-99. And this is what I was issued in, in boot camp a long time ago. But it comes with you know, a few different filtered lenses, uh, red and blue. And then I have a mini mag light here, which is probably one of the best tactical flashlights there is. You know, this was the, uh, everybody carried these back in the day and, and you can get different lenses. I got a blue lens on this one. Then I had the little Gerber Recon, which is just a task light that has different, you know, different colors on there. And then a headlamp with a red filter. You want to make sure you always have, you know, some kind of filter with a low lumen light. And uh, let's kind of go over the applications for, you know, like a red lens is one of, is good for preserving your night vision. It's basically everyone in the military uses that. Uh, a unit that I was in, in the, uh, during my time the Marines I deployed with, we were actually told to use blue because it gives a, a less signature out at night. This uh, red is actually easier to see than blue. And so we use that. But blue is a more covert light. And then you have green. Green is good for matte reading because some contour lines and stuff like that don't always show up with the uh, red and blue lens on a map very well. So you'll use that green light to check, you know, do some land nav stuff at night. And I actually will have a quick tip in the next uh, few weeks showing how to do an even more covert way of a, a map check, a tactical map check. And you know, headlamps, you can, uh, I would only buy one if it does have a red filter, you know, because it's hard to get a filter to put on something like this. But something else I also do is, uh, on this neck lanyard that I carry, I have a whistle, but I also have a red LED, and then I have a uh, just a white light. You know, in case I just need to see everything's okay, I'm not gonna be in any trouble if somebody sees me. But I have two different types of lights. You know, I love the Photon, they're my favorite, but I carry two types so at night I can feel and tell which one is which, so I'm not, you know, shining the white light by accident, but I can feel and tell which one is which. But, you know, tactical lighting, as in the sense of a lot of lumens, is great, you know, for weapon mounted systems and, and stuff like that, and, and for police officers beating the streets, you know, and, and need to have high range of visibility. But again, this is the, you know, uh, true tactical lighting in, in a military operational sense. And I just kind of want to go over these things and, and give you guys some ideas. But uh, check out BlackScoutSurvival.com for more tips and tutorials. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.